open your notebooks. We had learned the ionic bonds, covalent bond, then polar covalent bond. Number four, hydrogen bonding. And number five, coordinate bond. Yes, last benches. I want a pin drop silence in the class. Okay, here. So yesterday we had learned about the four kinds of a bond in a chemistry. Five, five kinds of a bond. Ionic bond. Ionic bond is formed by the transfer of an electron, where one atom transfers the electron to the other atom. Covalent bond is formed by the sharing, sharing of an electron, where one atom shares the electron with the other atom. Polar covalent bond. They call it polar covalent bond is like a covalent bond only, right? But how it is formed? Due to polarity. What is polarity? Polarity means Development of a opposite charges is called as the polarity. Okay, जबी भी दो atoms के ऊपर दो अलग charges आएंगे, उसको हम लोग क्या बोलेंगे? Polarity. Now, why does it develop the polarity? Due to difference in electronegativity, right? जैसे कि हमने example देखा था HCl का, HCl के case में क्या हो गया? एक के ऊपर partial positive और दूसरे के ऊपर partial negative. Why? Because Slight shifting of an electron towards the chlorine atom. Why? Because chlorine is highly electronegative compared to the hydrogen. Right? So this is what is called as the polar covalent bond. Then hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding is a kind of a bond which is formed by the oxygen and hydrogen. Yes, get it. Which is formed by the oxygen and hydrogen. And it is one kind of a Weaker bond. Example kya dekha tha amne is mein? Water molecule. Then comes the coordinate bond. See, coordinate bonds are a special kinds of a bond which are formed by the transfer of an electron from only one atom. Right? Or jo atom electron transfer karega, that will be called as the donor atom. Or jo electron lega, that will be called as the acceptor atom. Okay? So this is also called as the metal and ligand bond. Metal and ligand bond. Right? Example I gave you ammonium salt. So this is what we had seen in the yesterday's class. So you should not forget whatever we had learned. Okay. Next, give the heading concentration. Concentration. Now what is concentration? Concentration means the amount of substance, amount of substance dissolved, get it, dissolved is called as concentration. Okay. The amount of a substance dissolved is called as the concentration. Right? Abhi concentration ka exact meaning kya hota hai? For example, let's understand that we have taken a beaker. Okay? In this beaker, we have taken a... Let's say 50 ml of water. 50 ml of water in the beaker and in this 50 ml of a beaker I have taken 10 gram of sugar okay 50 ml ke paani mein mein kitna gram sugar liya 10 gram of sugar so what is the concentration now the concentration is 10 gram of sugar right which is dissolved in the 50 ml of water. So this becomes the concentration of a water. Yes, get it. 
this becomes the concentration of a water. Are you understanding what is concentration? The amount of a substance dissolved is called as the concentration. Did you all understand? Similarly, yes, get it. Tomorrow onwards, okay, let me tell you, everyone is here now. Tomorrow onwards, don't be late. And especially on Thursday and Saturday, I'll be having a first period. So be present, all time. Okay? If we are there, we as a teachers, we are getting up early, we are coming early, then you people also can come. You people don't have any kind of a burden. Tumcharati asaka samsarik vazana ye ke tumi yoda ushe lai yeta. Techa maga, tumi patkan ala pai jale, aurun garatna. This is what is expected. Okay? So you understood what is concentration. Similarly, this concentration is also applicable for the chemicals. बराबर है ना? Chemicals को अपन काय करतो? पाने आमदे बरसे अपन chemicals dissolve करतो, right? So when we dissolve the chemicals into a water, it will show some or the other kind of a concentration, right? So that concentration can be measured in three ways. There are three ways of measuring the concentration. Number one. Molarity. Number two, normality. Number three, molality. See, these three terms are very, very important terms in chemistry. Especially in a practical chemistry, I am telling you that when you go for a practical, you have to prepare a different concentration solution. मंजे वेग वेगने प्रकार्चा concentrations अपलेला chemistry lab मदे solutions बनवावे लागता. Let's say, for example, you have to prepare a 0.1 molar, 0.1 molar HCl, or you can say 0.2 normal HCl. So, such kind of a concentration of solutions you have to prepare in the chemistry lab. And for that purpose, you should understand what is normality and what is molarity. Okay? And what is molarity. If this is the I am telling you. When you go into a chemistry lab, you people will prepare the solutions on your own. To me, all solutions tumcha swata badhu shakta. It is not very difficult. But the only thing you have to understand the term concentration, molarity, normality, and molarity. Did you understand? Okay. Now let's understand what is molarity, what is molarity, and what is normality. So write down the heading Molarity <coughs> Molarity Write down Molarity The number of moles of a solute The number of moles of a solute <coughs> Dissolved in per liter of solution dissolved in per liter of solution. Okay, they could keep that simple definition. Hai. Kya hai definition? What is molarity? The number of moles of solute. Number of moles of solute dissolved in per liter of solution that is what is called as the molarity. बराबर है Per liter solution मतलब कितना हो गया? Per liter मतलब कितना हो गया? One thousand ml, right? तो one thousand ml में one thousand ml water में हमने कितने number of moles of solute को add किया? That is what is called as the particular molarity. Right, 1000 ml. For example, let's say that for 1000 ml, I have taken 2 moles of sugar. I have taken 2 moles of sugar. Are you understanding? See, 2 moles of a sugar is added into 1000 ml. So this becomes the concentration. Ye bangi aapka concentration. Similarly, different different concentrations can be obtained. 
बाय यूजिंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर फॉर्म्युला कॅल्क्युलेशन कसं करायचं ते आपण प्रॉब्लेम घेणार आहे त्याच्यावरती ओके देन यू विल कम टू नो हाऊ टू अप्लाय दिस बट बिफोर दॅट यू पीपल नीड टू अंडरस्टँड दॅट नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सल्यूट डिझॉल्व्ह इन पर लिटर ऑफ सोल्युशन इज कॉल्ड एज दी मोलॅरिटी आता याचा फॉर्म्युला काय असणार आहे नोट डाऊन द फॉर्म्युला मोलॅरिटी इज इक्वल्स टू मोलॅरिटी इज इक्वल्स टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सल्यू डिवायडेड बाय वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्युशन इन लिटर्स वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्युशन इन लिटर्स देखो कितना सिंपल फॉर्म्युला है फॉर्मुले के बेसिस के ऊपर ही डेफिनेशन के बेसिस के ऊपर ही हमने क्या किया है फॉर्मूला डिराइव किया है ओके सी वट इज दी डेफिनेशन द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट डिजॉल्व इन पर लीटर ऑफ सोल्यूशन एंड वट इज फॉर्मूला नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट डिवाइडेड बाय वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन इन लीटर्स डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वट इज दी मोलैरिटी ओके नेक्स्ट गिफ्ट हेडे Wait, wait, wait. Before that, write down one more point. Write down. 